Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Windows 10 and 11 high CPU, memory and disk usage. I will be sharing 11 tested ways through which I fix my own problem and many other computers. So make sure that you apply all the solution, do not skip any part. The video can be a bit lengthy because it will be covering all the solutions. And if this worked for you, do not forget to like and subscribe. In the first step, you have to disable the startup application that come along with your computer and slow down the PC performance. So what you need to do on your Windows 10 or 11, right click on the Windows icon and from the suggestion choose Task Manager. Once the Task Manager comes up, you have to click on the Startup tab from the top in menu. And now here look for the application that you don't want that it should open up automatically. Like Battle.net, Epic Game Launcher, Lively Wallpaper, Microsoft Edge, Microsoft OneDrive, you can see I have already disabled them. All right. Same you have to do with all such kind of applications and even browsers. So you need to look over all the list here and disable the application that you don't need while opening the computer. Once you are done, you can close it. In the next step, you have to disable the background application. So on Windows 10, you have to make a right click on Windows icon and choose settings. And in the search box, you have to type background. And from the suggestion, choose background app. Now here you will see an option, let app run in the background. So you need to disable this option. Disable it, then close it. Now, if you're using Windows 11, then what you have to do on your Windows search, you have to type GP edit. And from the suggestion, choose edit group policy. The group policy will be up. From the left in menu option, click on administrative templates under computer configuration. Then click on windows components and then on app privacy. Now here on the right hand side, you will find let windows app run in the background. You need to click on it and then another box will be up. You need to select this to enable and below default for all app, you have to choose this to force deny. Then click on apply and then click on OK. This is only for windows 11, all right? Once you are done, we have to make some changes with the power plan. So click on the search box, type power cfg.cpl. Then hit enter. The power plan will be coming up. Here you need to make sure that your performance plans has been set to either high performance or ultimate performance. If you do not see the high performance or ultimate performance, I've already created a video. You can watch that video. The link will be in the description. Now also make sure that your windows is up to date, either windows 10 or 11, click on the search box, just type update. And from the suggestion, click on check for updates. The windows update will be coming up. Now here you can see it says download and install. So which means I already have a update available for windows 11, but you need to click on check for update. If you're using windows 10, the same you have to do for windows 11, click on check for update. And if there are update available, it will download and install it. After that, you have to restart your PC. All right, once you are done, now you can close it. And then update your graphic driver. Right click on your Windows icon and choose Device Manager from the suggestion. Device Manager will be up. Here you have to look for Display Adapters. Double click on it and then it will display the graphic driver you are using. It can be AMD, Intel or Nvidia. So right click on it, choose update driver, click search automatically for drivers. And if there are update available, it will automatically update it. And if not, then you can close it. Now click on your search box, type CMD. You will be getting command prompt, right click on it, choose run as administrator, then click on yes. The black window will be coming up here. You have to type CHK DSK space C colon space forward slash F. This command you will also get in the description. You can copy and paste. Once done, hit enter. Then press Y and hit enter again. Now the next time when you restart your computer, it will be checking for any kind of problem with the disk and it will try to resolve it. Now you also need to type another command SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter again and this will take some time so you can minimize it and move with the next step. Now you, we have to disable free services. So click on your search box, type services. 
and from the suggestion choose services app the services box will be up here we have to disable few services and the first one will be sys main so you can press anywhere and then press the s key to come to the s section and you have to look for sys main so you can keep scrolling down and look for sys main in case if you do not find sys main you can also look for super main or super fetch double click on it and in the startup type it's been set to automatic you have to click on disabled then click on stop and then click apply and then click on ok once done you have to disable windows update so just scroll down and look for windows update once you find it you have to double click on it again startup type to disable then click on stop then click apply and then click on ok now if you do not find windows update i have already created a video that how you need to bring this back you can watch that video the link will be in the description and last one will be windows search so you have to look for windows search as well double click on it again startup type select to disable then click on stop then click apply and then click on ok once done close it now in the search box type clean mgr hit enter this cleanup will be up click on ok and this will bring up another box now you need to check all the boxes here and also check the recycle bin if you do not need the item that has been deleted and went to recycle bin so select that box as well then click on clean up system file and this will clean up many file that is unwanted and will surely improve the performance once done you can close it again click on the search box type this dm.cpl hit enter the system properties will be up here you have to click on advanced then click on settings and here you have to select adjust for best performance then click apply and then click on ok we are almost done and we have to just apply a few more steps so click search box again and type here virus from the suggestion choose virus and threat protection then click on quick scan and this will be scanning for any kind of infection so let it run in the background and then finally press windows and r key type temp hit enter now here press ctrl a to select all then press the delete key to delete it then click continue and then skip now close it press windows r key again type percent temp percent again click ok press ctrl a to select all then press shift and delete or delete then hit on yes check this box click on continue check the box again and click on escape now close it again press windows r type prefetch hit enter click continue press ctrl a to select all then press the delete key to delete it now once you are done you have to finally restart your pc and after that there will be a check disk that you have to wait for and after that you will find that your ram and memory and the cpu usage has been reduced so that's all guys for today hopefully this complete list of solution will surely fix your problem and if yes then please consider subscribing to the channel like the video and for any question any doubt let me know in the comment section